You're listening to Winnipeg's Classic 107. My name is Simon Rusnak. We're nearly midway through the month of August, and though it pains me to say, summer is quickly drawing to a close. Before returning to regular lessons and fall schedules, participants in the Rosamunda Summer Music Academy are looking at bettering their string playing through educational workshops, master classes, coachings, and performance opportunities. Running from August 14th through 23rd, Rosamunda is set to kick off. And to hear more, I'm joined by artistic director and co-founder Alicia Pauls and instructor Carl Stoby. Welcome back to Classic 107, both. Thanks for being here. Great to be here. Uh, Alicia, how you feeling? Are you Rosamunda ready? Trying to be. I mean, one never knows what can happen in the last few days. Um, so it's always a hectic whirlwind. But yeah, I'm. Uh, it's feeling pretty good this year. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, So this um, is a summer music academy that you co-founded back in 2011, um, a program that has been offered for over a decade. Clearly, there's a demand there. Can can you talk more about the significance of a summer music academy for for young musicians and and specifically string players? Yeah, I think it's super important. Um, Summer is such a special time. And to have the exposure to the type of artists that Rosamunda makes available is just really essential for uh, Winnipeggers, for Manitobans, and we have students coming this year from Yellowknife and BC. Wow. So yeah, over the years, um, we've had such a great time at, at in August. Um, it creates a great community that, you know, forms friendships and relationships that last throughout the year and youth orchestra or even connects uh, our students to their future professor. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's, it's really inspirational for, for the students that are there and, and provides a really unique opportunity. Carl, wh- when did you first get involved with Rosamunda? Was it right from the get-go? Yep. 2011. Yep. So, so what keeps you coming back every year, every August? Elation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just strong arm and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> into yeah. it. Yeah. I, I, Last year, I didn't do all of it. That was the first. Um, that was the first time I hadn't done every day. Um, but I, what really comes keeps me back is I, I enjoy it. I mean, the kids are fun. It's a good group of people. It's a good group of uh, teachers and colleagues. I, I I like working for it. I I think it's really important that it's here. I think it's important for the kids. I think it's important for Winnipeg. I think it's uh, important for music. I, it's just a really great community thing that needs to happen. And you know, I got a, a salute, Alation and um, and Yuri, who, who who was a big part of starting it too. Uh, and I, I mean, really, rough from the get go, I, I I knew I wanted to be part of it, and I knew I wanted to do whatever I could to you know help make it work. Uh, uh, Alation already sort of alluded to this, but it's just such a great cast of instructors that have been assembled for this program. And, and you can certainly, I'm sure, see and hear the difference you're making in the lives of young musicians. Um, more on who is involved, um, especially some uh, special guest instructors this year. But first off, uh, I know that there are a few different streams for participants who enter the Rosamunda Summer Music Academy. Can you tell us a little bit more about that, uh, Alation? Yeah, sure. This year we've got a really vibrant uh, group of students coming. We have the Mini Rosies, who are the youngest group. I think our youngest student is seven this year. They're starting on Monday. Next week, they have a five-day program. Uh, We have the largest number of students coming from the Sistema program ever this year. Yeah, which is really great. Uh, So they are about 25 of them. Wow. There's some half-day ones and some full-day ones. So they've got, um, you know, little ensembles, um, lots of... For some of those students, it will be their very first time um, performing a solo. Those are the Sistema students. They're very used to performing in a group, but solo is is not something they're accustomed to. So we always have to give them lots of encouragement for that. Um, and then for some of the other students, it will be their very first time in an ensemble because they're used to having their private lessons and their recitals, but playing in a group is something they won't have encountered yet. So there's always, yeah, it's always really great to see them up on stage in those um, configurations for the first time. And then our core program is what's starting Wednesday. Uh, We also have a great student uh, body for that. Um, Yeah, it's going to be really, the the chamber ensembles are going to be really wonderful. We've got um, Schubert double cello quintet happening with them. And yeah, the the coachings, you know, they're going to have such amazing 
time working with with their coaches on those um, pieces. How many students are you expecting between the, the programs if you had to add it all up? Well, there's also the Rosemary Ed program, and they start Wednesday evening. Jennifer Thiessen is the director mm-hmm. for them. And so it's a total of 65, wow. which is a pretty standard for yeah. us. Um, some years have been more, uh, and you just never know. I never know when I, the program is like Rosamunda is a totally different ball game every year. I always have to be a, a bit of a computer um, putting it all together because they all have individual schedules. So, yeah. um, but 65 is pretty standard. Yeah. Um, you mentioned those individual schedules, and I mean the amount of work that you and the team put into this is is really incredible. C- can you walk us through, for instance, that a, a day in the life of one of the core participant pro- program participants? What, what what does a day look like uh, at Rosamunda? They usually start off with technique class. So Carl will run them through scales often, right? Yep. Um, <laughs> and then they will have a master class. Uh, so and they have coachings with pianists, Heather, Sm- uh, sorry, Hannah Smith, Leanne McGurley, and Paul Williamson are our pianists this year. So they will work on their solo repertoire with them. They have master classes with the pianist um, in the room there too, and they will also have alternating orchestra with uh, chamber music every other day. There's a bit of a, you know, sort of games time for, especially on the first day, that's important. So they get to know each other and get to know everybody's name. Uh, Practice time is in there. The violinists actually, uh, this is a bit unique to Rosamund that they have introduction to the viola. I noticed that. I was going to ask about that. (laughs) I mean, obviously we're looking at a strings academy and there's violinists and there's cellists and maybe a few violists, but maybe just sort of opening that door for violinists to to make the move, right? Yeah. Well, we have had students introduced to the viola at Rosamunda who have switched over. Um, and I think it's a great skill for every violinist to have. I've, I have been known to play viola, and Carl is actually mm-hmm. playing viola too. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, and my daughter, Clara, is uh, going to play viola in the orchestra. So, you know, it's 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 fun. It's fun to expand and, you know, exercise your brain in the alto clef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alto clef. That's a, we could do a chat on that on its own. But, um, you know, I mean, to me, one of the things that is so unique about this, it, it's sort of like summer um, academies and, and camps in general, just that idea of opportunity and trying new things and meeting new people and getting exposed um, to, to, to new things and new musics and new ways to, I don't know, play an instrument or maybe just a new instrument altogether. If you're just tuning in, my name is Simon Rosnack and I'm chatting with uh, Rosamunda's Alation Paul and uh, uh, Carl Stoby. Now, uh, of course... If people are thinking to themselves, wow, it sounds like a lot of great music making is going on. Is there any, are there performances that are going to be happening? This is also a festival as well. I know that there are students who are going to be performing. Uh, we'll get to some of their performances in just a little bit. But Carl, I want to bring you back into the conversation here because you're going to be performing uh, on both nights, Tuesday, August 20th, and then um, the second concert, uh, Thursday, the 22nd. Can you tell us a little bit about how you programmed what you were going to be playing. I know you're going to be performing both as soloist and quartet member. Can we talk about the solo numbers first? Some Isaiah on the program as well as a little bit of Bieber, right? Right. Uh, I, I'm And so the second program I'm playing is I. Uh, and I remember, Alation, you and I had a conversation some time ago. You gave me a topic. Um, was it Flights to Eternity already then? I think, I mm. don't know if that was the, Title, but it was there was a it was a topical. You you'd asked about sort of music that is related to um, the afterlife or or something, and and I gave you a couple, and and I think I said, oh, is I too? Yeah. And maybe I shouldn't have said that, but um, you know, because it's a lot <laughs> of work. Play it. it's, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of work. But so anyway, that's on there. Um, uh, Lark ascending is on that concert, with, and Gwen is going to play that. Of course, she's world famous for for that piece as, as much as anything. Uh, Death and the Maiden, uh, the Schubert, famous Schubert Quartet. Um, so three three pieces that are, um, you know, related to that and are magical and wonderful. Mm-hmm. Um, and the uh, first concert I am playing Bieber, and actually you kind of changed that on me at the last minute, and I don't think I ever asked why. So at this m- at this moment right now, why did that? Could get you say it was a mystery? Uh, you know, tying into what you're because perfor- you're performing for it's, the mystery it's, sonata. It right? is from the mystery sonatas. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it's the Pasakaya is 
is associated with the feast of the uh, feast of the guardian An- guardian angel or something like that, and uh, and it's the last of the mystery sonatas. But people aren't actually sure whether it was kind of composed as part of that or if he just kind of threw it in and it didn't quite fit topically into the into the rosary, so he put it in as a feast. But anyway, it kind of fits here. But I don't know why it got changed. So I was I always wanted to ask Elation what happened with that. Um, you know, do you really well, want to know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. actually, so I do I, want to know. You can speak to Carlson. The other thing I was going to mention too. I mean, this, this, these, these performances, the two of them, uh, part of the flights to eternity. The, the title of this, and Carl's kind of already spoken to this already. But that idea of you know looking at the afterlife and, and these, these soaring and lofty pieces of music too, right? Can, can you speak more to how you crafted these programs? I have to say, it's a lot of fun. You know, this is where you really get to be creative in, in programming and just sort of dreaming of what can tie together and what will make a, a series balanced. Um, so, yeah, there's nothing super Baroque on this other than the Preludio. Uh, Gwen's going to start off Thursday night with the Bach's Preludio, which is an important lead-in to Isai's Sonata. Um, so for balance, I, I, I actually was originally going to go towards Piazzolla's Milonga dell'Angelo, uh, and I was looking for an arrangement of that, but it just it just wasn't quite sitting right with the other pieces. And then I remembered that um, there there are these beautiful mystery son- sonatas. And actually, uh, Carl has a little bit of a project kind of on the back burner with the Bieber's sonatas. We won't get into that today. Maybe that'll come out later yeah. in the future. But I thought it might be a bit of a teaser and a bit of a just you know. Getting getting mm. it out getting it out there a little bit so that's that that's a mystery be- behind the mystery sonata <laughs> <laughs> but but the first program um, I'm really excited about it uh, we've got two ca- female Canadian composers being showcased at the beginning at the end um, the Raven and the Phoenix Kelly Marie Murphy mm. uh, that trio is a barn burner like I'm so excited and the Griffin trio actually uh, commissioned it from her. Uh, they're going to be playing it with Paul Williamson, um, so I just can't wait to to hear that one go down. And the first piece is is pretty fun, and uh, it's called Raven Conspiracy by Carmen Braden. It's got actually some improv elements to it, so uh, that's something I have not done with mm. Chris Anstey, Jennifer Thiessen, and Leanne Zacharias. I know that uh, Jennifer is really used to improvising. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with that one, too. All, all about new opportunities, uh, plus some music of uh, Jan Leifs, an Icelandic composer. Haven't heard any of Jan's music before. So, yeah, all sorts of new stuff to hear. Uh, you, you, you alluded to the fact that the Griffin Trio is going to be performing, and that kind of ties us back into the instructors and, and the, the, the talent that you bring over for Rosamunda. Anneli Padipatanakun and Roman Boris are going to be here. What's it like having them be a part of not only the festival, but also part of the faculty instructing the next generation of string players? That, I have to say, is truly delightful, you know, to every year be able to bring someone into Winnipeg, someone that I know these students would normally never come into contact with or have any connection to necessarily. Um, it's really essential that, that this happens because I, I know it's hard to get away and it's hard for people to, you know, go through all of the logistics involved in in getting out somewhere else and yeah I mean these you know Annalie and Roman have been around for decades they've seen it all um you know they're going to have some chamber music coachings with this with the students who will have been working on their pieces for over a week um yeah it's it's just so important and essential and and really a privilege and uh if people are thinking, well, I'd love to hear the students perform as well, they also have a number of concerts coming up too, right? Can you tell us more about that? Those are um, open to the public to attend? Yes. Uh, Rosamund is going to be daily. Uh, if you want to hear a performance, Monday night are the Rosamundiads. Uh, they're a really fun and special group. I really wish more people would join them. So, you know, if you play a string of instrument, just bring it out and don't be shy. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so much fun. Uh, that's Monday night. Tuesday night is the faculty concert. Wednesday at 4.30 are the core ones. Uh, so those are the more advanced students. At 4.30, they will be playing their solos. Thursday, 4.30 is the core two group playing their solos. And we have a special 
a pre-concert concert for a few selected core students mm-hmm. at 6.15, and then 7 o'clock Thursday are, is the second uh, faculty concert. And then Friday, you could be there from 11 o'clock on. The little minis are going to be playing their solos and their little ensembles, and then at 1.30, um, I think we're going to start off with some Indigenous singing, if everything mm. goes as planned. Ray Coco Stevenson is coming in to work with our students. So that that will be special. Um, and then we'll break off into the two sides at CME. There's just too much music for it to all to happen in one yeah, concert. We'd be there, like, for hours. <laughs> so 1.30 will be in the Great Hall and the Loud Amos Auditorium at CMU. Uh, plenty of music making to come as part of the Rules of Summer Music Academy and Festival. Uh, Alicia and Carl, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, all the details are up at rulesamunda.ca, R-O-S-A-M-U-N-D-E. Dot C-A. Uh, thanks for both being here. Thanks. Thanks for having us.